it is. It's, it's, Make sure to subscribe to Beef Universe. Get locked up. They might change once they realize they're fucked for life. But I I haven't met one single person that I've known that was real life hood that's changed their ways. I've known niggas who's literally had scholarships to Michigan State. Dead serious. Basketball. Good as fuck. I told y'all this before. Amazing. Turned their whole life around. Went to the streets. All type of shit. Like, it's crazy, bro. I've seen people turn good lives into bad lives because they literally feel like this is what they have to do. The, I'm telling you, this, these niggas grew up this way, but play amazing basketball. Two brothers, had scholarships and everything. But because they literally grew up in the trap, no dad, one mom, hella siblings, had to take care of them, so they now feel like they have to reside to do this. They drop everything to go get some money, go do this, do this, do that. I told y'all this a story. One day, the nigga came home, showed me his bank receipt. Nigga had 24000 in his bank account at the age of 15. I thought I was doing something wrong with my life. I'm like, damn, am I am I bum? Am I this? He wearing the October red Yeezys, the them them ones that like three thousand dollars that drop like one time or some shit. I'm like, am I doing something wrong with my life? I asked him what he doing. He's like, if you want to, bro, I could get I could get you in. Like, and he was talking about allegedly that, you know what I'm saying, getting into you know money wise. And I'm like, I'm like, nah, I don't. Even, I thought about it. I ain't a lot of money. Sound good, but that's not my life. But this is what I mean. These niggas literally feel like they have to reside to do that. Like. Drop everything, face tattoos, everything. I'm like, damn, bro. This shit's sad, bro. To this day, I don't even know if them niggas alive, bro. Shit crazy. I know this one dude, crazy life story. He got locked up a few times now. It's completely different. Locked in and help his brothers in prison. Shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Once they have a real traumatic experience, it either they change or they go, they go full gung ho with it. It's either they change or they go full gung ho with it. That's the only way it works. Like I told y'all just a second ago when we was watching that the other video. I had I know a little nigga who he was good at sports and everything. An, a, another nigga, his brother passed away. He got shot on the white side of Chicago. He was with some bitch. They set him up, and and then he got shot. Now he turns to a rapper. He now he a now he a game banger. He trying to find the niggas that kill his brother. Like it's two ways this shit can go, bro. On June the twenty sixth, just days after his funeral, crazy, bro. Lil Jeff's first and only full length album would be released posthumously, and the project would be released under the label Grey Day Productions, started by infamous former Chicago street rapper Lil Bibby. You know, a lot of people like being a lot of people like being, like being in prison, though. Now, when you get out of prison, bro, life is hard, dude. This, no jobs hiring, you got no career problems. Your family Chicago probably low key disowned you, or maybe probably nine times out of ten, eight, seven times out of ten. But Lil Jeff's whole flow and delivery throughout this project, combined with the very unique. You know what I'm Chicago saying? drill beats that are reminiscent of the a lot of times people want to go back make stepping in blood an I think even Kodak process. himself says sometimes he feel more at home in prison in early than days when Chicago drill here. music was something crazy. completely original and not watered down or manufactured as well as the lyrical content maintaining on the cutting edge it's crazy bro I'm telling you street, street life street rappers, really insane with ultra violence and committing murder, I ain't a lot of first time I got a, a, a glimpse of that street life I ain't a lot turned the other way and ran and then look back now for a second hyper aggressive from its very first track which is interesting AJ what you talking about mastered remix of Lil Jeff's classic song ah improving the audio quality as well as adding a verse from it was one time me and my homie we went to go smoke and i ain't gonna lie we was in like some trap house bro it was like seven seven fucking thugs around me bro they 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 got like four blunts in rotation now keep in mind bro i don't smoke i smoke i hit the blunt one time i'm on jupiter they got seven blunts in rotation i can't pussy out or i'm gonna look like an easy target an easy lick and I already am looking decently dressed, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a hood nigga, so I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And I just have to keep pinning the bomb. I'm like, bro, I literally thought I was about to die, bro. I'm not even trolling, bro. That's when I realized, I'm like, I don't even want to live this life, bro. the track ends, the first new song off the tape is the I'm like, I don't even want to live this life, bro. Named after Chicago. Fell asleep in a chair, that chair sleep hit every time. I'm trying to chair sleep is better than... Literally as they just yeah, happened, sleep, something that Lil Jeff seemed to trigger numerous times. The beat for Spot News mm. is booming, and reminiscent of the big, early yeah, days of Chicago Drill, time, when it was ready. melodically and heavily yeah, influenced like by Black Yeah, literally. The mixing and mastering Shit is crazy. point, and the drums shake Talking about a little break. Jeff jumps on the track with his lazy flow. How'd you Perfectly get in that situation? The... So when I was first, when I was like young, my like best homie at the time, his brother was a gangbanger. So he always wanted to be like his brother. You know, like I said, it's just a cycle how this shit goes. He's a good kid. His mom works hard, you know, got him got him out, out the way of all that shit. But he just want to follow in his brother's footsteps. Me just being another dumb nigga, being rebellious, that's my best homie. So now I'm dropping the rakes, saying I'm GDK, all type of shit, just because that's my man's. If he's shooting, I'm shooting. So, But that's not really the life I live, but that's my that's my boy. So I'm going to do whatever he's doing. Like, right him, that's my brother. So now I'm starting to slightly get involved with that shit. Not really, but, like, now I have niggas that I don't fuck with, and I'm, 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 I'm like, claiming shit that, I don't really am, but I'm just because that's my homie and I know his brother and shit. 
So I'm starting to get around that. And so we like, let's hang out before we go to the gym. And we go smoke. And I'm telling, we was in the trap house with all them people. And that's when, like, the first time I was like, this low-key not what I want to live. And then a while ago, too, we had went to a party. And then we went, we went to, like, the west side. And we went to the party, and they all smoking, and we in, like, the kitchen, and it's just a bunch of niggas with, like, hella guns and shit like that. And I'm just, I'm literally looking around like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm like, at any point in time, this bitch getting shot up. And later that night, that bitch got shot up. I left, though. I was the DD, so I had to drive, but I told everybody we got to get up out of here. But I, I just, I'm just looking at the situation. I'm like, what am I doing? This ain't me. But the thing is, I could easily have just been dumb and naive and steady going with, steady going with, and then my life would be completely different. But... I'm a kid that plays Minecraft and want to do YouTube. That was never in my interest to be a hood nigga or a thug. Back -back so that, I got lucky on that that end because I was around it and I could have easily with an done it, but delivery. I didn't. You can almost smell the pills on his breath. And the way Jeff raps about violence in this song make it seem so like that's you know I'm just glad I'm just glad I wasn't you know like him. He bro literally you can ask Ranch. We I already told y'all story a little bit. I'm not gonna get too much into it. But he moved to Las Vegas because his mom blah blah blah. So his mom kind of got him away from all that shit anyway. He wants to come back so bad. He came back right. He came back. We busted missions, everything to get him back. Niggas went to Vegas. I got kicked out for him, all type of shit. Went to Vegas. We drove his car back because he didn't have his license at the time. Boom, we came back. Like, the first day he came back, he was hanging out with all his other homies, other thug homies that niggas wanted me to be around. They popping pills, smoking all day, drinking lean, everything. He talking about, oh, these people make me feel good. The drugs help me, blah, blah, blah. You and you and Ranch don't want to do nothing to help me. I told you all the story before. When me and Ranch first was like, all right, let's be growing up. Let's get a job. We applied to Amazon. And we told him, come work with us. I told y'all his car broke down when we went to uh, Las Vegas. We like, we told him. I, I told him, I told folks, I'm like, bro, I'll pick you up every day and take you home. We all live by each other. I'm like, every day until you can get your own car. Like a good, like a good homie. That's my dog. I told y'all. He didn't accept it. Two days later, he crying, telling us we not helping him, blah, blah, blah. He got in a shootout. He gonna call me happy. Nigga, why? You're calling me happy. You almost just lost your life. What am I supposed to, how am I supposed to react to that? He's talking about, bro, do you want to see the car? Bro, the car got shot up. He laughing, smiling. Like, I'm like, I'm like, dude, you really want to be, I'm like, you really want to be in this life, bro. He's like, bro, it's just what I have to do to get money. I'm like, folks, I just told you I'll pick you up every day and take you home so you can get some money. You don't have to live that life. He's like, nah, bro, you wouldn't understand it. Cut me off. Now he best friends with all niggas popping pills, smoking, doing lean all day. Ain't that about a bitch. When he needed niggas to go to Vegas to pick his car up because he doesn't have a license and he didn't want to get pulled over crossing the border and shit, his homies that he popping pills with and doing drugs with said no. Didn't go do it. Me and Ranch, Ranch's family members was going through some shit. Ranch hopped on a flight. I hopped on a flight going through shit. Mid-COVID, bro, my mom has diabetes. If my mom got COVID, it's Loki GG's. That's my man's. I still did it. And he cut us off. Like, you see how crazy that is? But that's just how the, the cookie crumbles. You know what I'm saying? I went to Vegas twice. I went to Vegas when I got kicked out. That's who I wanted to go live with. Um, and then I went to Vegas because my man said he wanted to come home. And so we was like, we was like, we gonna come bring you home, bro. And we streets. tried to help him and everything, but about the streets gonna consume me, bro. The, office to little Jeff at this the point streets gonna life. consume me, bro. About seeing ops immediately that's what I'm saying. I could have easily went down that path too, but that's just never been me. And rapping about putting people's faces on the news. I might, the I might have grown up here and got a little bit of the SSM me, but I ain't gonna. I'm a good guy. I'm not a. I ain't no thug, bro. Revenge for Z Money's death and saying the get back is. I'm telling you, that shit crazy. Bars about stealing the very same watches that he wore in his early music. I could show y'all so many screenshots, bro. The murders of Monty. I know, okay, this is the last part of the whole video, but like me and like we done cycled money with each other so many times when I mean it's not a good thing, but allegedly when we was cracking cars and shit the first time, that's who niggas was doing it with and shit like that. Like that was really like that's really like my brother, bro. Like dead serious. And that nigga turned his back on me like this. You wanna know what did it? I just started driving and my mom didn't trust me fully to drive because I told you I already been in two accidents before I even drove by myself. So he called me. My mom like, go to the store for me, go to the store for me, go go to the store for me. I'm like I'm like, I'm like, I told him, I'm like, I can't pick you up, bro. My mom, my mom, um, my mom needs something for the store. He's like, damn, bro, you fake. Like, I came back to Chicago and I need help. And like, you, you, you some of the only people I, I thought I could call. And like, you don't even have my back either. Gas lit the fuck out of me. So I, I'm like, I'm like, damn, why you don't call your cousin or nothing like that? Right. He's like, bro, I don't got no service. Like, you're the only person like I could call. He called me on another phone. So I'm like, fuck it. I don't go to the store for my mom. Get in trouble for that, by the way. Pick him up. Right. He's like, bro, I appreciate you. Like, you're real. He's like, you can take him to my cousin house, right? Same cousin that got me the black ass. I told y'all it was the cousin. He, I knew somebody who his cousin worked at Foot Locker, right? Same cousin. So 
He lived not too far from me. Go drop him off, right? We under target the parking lot. He pull his phone out. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Call his cousin. It didn't hit me for a second, right? I'm just kind of sitting there like, damn, like, I really did it. I'm, I'm like, I really just, you know, I just took my homie. And then it hit me. And I looked to the right, like like a movie. Like, literally, I break my neck. And I'm looking at this nigga. And I'm looking like he just made a phone call. And he's like, yeah, bro, I'm downstairs. You can come get me. Hop out the car. Right when he hopped out the car, I'm like, I just got got. I'm like, I just got got. I'm like, damn, I got got. After that, everything was different with me and him. I stopped answering the phone, stopped texting him. And then he broke down, like, off fucking, um, I don't know what he was on. He was on some type of downer or some, some type of pill. Broke that phone, bro, like, I love you, bro. I need you in my life, bro. You just... Numerous the times on the song, rapping that he Shit does over. things twice, and rapping how two people died on one hit. Jeff's laid-back delivery Shit sees crazy, him bro. float through the track with That was like literally my if brother, bro. attention, you might not realize that every single bar is painting a vivid and violent picture of his life as a demon in the streets of Chicago. The next song you don't on the know what cracking cards is real? takes on a completely different vibe sonically. As this beat has a much more ambient and creepy melody that makes you feel like you're creeping up in the dark to surprise your No, dropping him off his cousin's house. Last pause, by the way. Dropping, dropping him off at his cousin's house isn't bad, but the fact is he just didn't have a ride, and he lied to me and gaslit me, saying, like, I'm not there for him, I'm not his real friend, blah, 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 and he told me he had no service, so he can't really do much. He's, like, stuck, so I went to go pick him up, took him to his cousin's house, and then he picked up his phone that he said he doesn't have service with and made a call to his cousin, pretty much just using me, and he's been doing that for, like, the last two weeks that he was back in the city, pretty much just using me, like I said, but, yeah. Cracking cars is just like getting cars and just cracking it for the money that's on there or using it, et cetera, et cetera. It could be now, different ways, but it's pretty much just allegedly I didn't do it. That's just as haunting. Rapping but using down, money that's not yours pretty much. Feels. Jumping out with the chopper like you with the Navy SEALs. Waking up early morning like it's time to go kill. We know that Jeff was really doing these things and it's like You could get a car, really don't know go to the bank, like crack that like bitch, pull out the money out or something. Song. Jeff proceeds to et cetera, et cetera. exactly how it really feels to live the demonic gangbanging piss. lifestyle like that he's got himself wrapped up in. Painting a vivid picture in excruciating detail of what it actually feels Space like to be in on bro. shoes. He raps about jumping out on the ops, popping them like pills, and we knew he was really doing both of those things. And he would go on to give an interesting insight. I remember when that bitch was busting, I had another homie who did that shit. Career was taking and he, off, okay, last pause, dead ass, last pause, I'm so serious. He had did that, and, you know, it's always, you know, the nigga who does it who gets fucked up. The nigga who knows how to fuck the nigga up and get the money. And the nigga who's appointing the nigga. So the middleman is fucking somebody up, telling you it's good, bro. Like, your car gonna be good. Nothing gonna happen. You call the bank. You, you, you do some fraud claims. Blah, 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 right? So he did that. He got like $4,000. He's supposed to tell him when the money hits, right? Um. So instead of giving... Because you're supposed to get tell him when the money hits and give him like half. Give him like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 like, 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 like 80%, something like that. Like, you keep a 1000 and they get, like, the majority. And most people do it because they just want that quick money. They don't care how much it is, right? What's the word, Kai? How you doing today? You not sub? Yeah, sub right now, I think. A lot of people sub right now. But, this, yeah, this is why you don't tap in. And you know how many times I almost tapped in, bro? But, okay, bet. Okay, bet. As long as y'all cool with the positive. So, another, so it's four of us, right? It was four of us at the time. It was Ranch, my brother. The other guy's name, we'll call him Spaz. That's literally his gamer tag. When we made our clan, me, Ranch, and him, it was Idol. And his, his was Spaz, right? And the fourth guy, we'll call him, I don't give a fuck about him. I, I really don't care. Fuck that nigga. His name was Brian. So it was four of us. Bri fuck you, by the way, Brian. He is the nigga that started that alien shit. Everybody in school called me alien because of him. And Ranch, you my dog, but I already talked to you about this. You pissed me off when you became friends with this bitch ass nigga. Because he was like the cool kid in school. And he just used Ranch and all of us. And he'll go to school and treat us like shit. But he'll come to Ranch's crib after and use us for pizza and all type of shit. Anyways, that's besides the point. That's just a little rant, right? What well, makes sense, real? So Brian did the shit. He let somebody crack his card, thinking that everything was going to be fine. He kept all the money because he had a baby on the way. So he started just doing any and everything to get some money for the baby, right? He let these niggas crack his card, and he kept it. Told them it never hit. He had me on Photoshop. Y'all know me. I'm a wizard on the Photoshop and shit. I'm making up fake bank reports and shit for him so he could send it to the thugs to not... To, to show like he doesn't have no money I'm putting I'm, I'm making his bank account like he had no money in there and shit like that but he took it all out these niggas gonna run through this nigga house these niggas gonna run through this nigga house steal his brand new Astros new mouse he bought steal all his baby shit like what the fuck like what do you have going on he gonna call me bro can you help can you help me nigga, nigga, what, nigga, nigga I'm 15 I'm like 5'2 what the fuck do you want me to do nigga he like he like bro like, they just came through my house. They beat my ass. I don't know what you... 
Nigga, I don't know what you calling me for, nigga. I ain't got, it ain't shit for me to do. It ain't, I ain't got shit to do with it. You just had three niggas running your crib and, and, and damn near steal. Nigga, they stole from your mama's bedroom, nigga. They found a nigga money, all type of shit. He's over. He's done. So he now, he now, now he on the hit list. And I didn't know at the time. So he, Brian told me who cracked his card. I'm thinking he got money for real. So now I'm in cahoots with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm in cahoots with the nigga. Now I'm talking to him. He's talking about, yeah, bro, like I love your videos. Nigga, I know you don't watch my fucking videos. Nigga, don't lie to me. He, he, damn, bro, like when you going, like when we can link up, bro, I saw you at Old Orchard. I was wondering if it was you. He talking about, he talking about, oh, uh, he, I see, he, I saw you at Old Orchard. Nah, bro, like you like you could really get fly. You trying to make some money? I'm, I'm a kid. My, old, my homie just did it, getting some money. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, bro, let's get some money. And then he like, all right, bro, like this is what I need. So he started telling me everything he need. And I figured out right when he told me they ran through his house and it's the same niggas. And he's the head honcho texting me. I'm thinking I'm cool as fuck. I'm thinking I'm in there because he's literally the head honcho texting me. The middleman's ran through the crib. So now I'm in cahoots with everybody. Nigga, all of them texting me and shit like that, asking me when I'm going like link up, when we going to do it. And I'm just making a bullshit lies. Yeah, bro, I just canceled my card. I got a new one all the way. I ain't gonna lie. They used to cancel my card every day because I used to just think niggas had my shit. So they steady texting me on Snapchat, everything, just hitting me up. And I'm just bullshitting the whole time. That's pretty much how I got out of it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was just bullshitting the whole time. They knew it wasn't happening. They gave it up. But I mean, I seen them niggas. They, them niggas got rich though. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Them niggas got rich though. That scamming shit crazy. That scamming shit crazy. I low-key wish I was tapped. I wish I was tapped into the point where I wasn't getting fucked over. I would have did it. But they was really trying to fuck me over. Fuck no. Don't ever do that shit, y'all. I'm telling you. That shit don't ever work. Unless you you and your homies the one doing it and y'all fucking niggas over, don't do that shit. You're just going to get fucked. And that shit stay on your bank forever. Shit over. Yeah, I was telling him. I'm like, I'm like my mom looking at my bank account and shit like that. He, gonna, he talking about you could do it with your mama account too. Nigga, are you dumb? Nigga, are you dumb? He talking about fine people. Everybody you find is a free thousand dollars. I'm over here trying to text people, bro. You trying to make money? You trying to make money? Da, 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 da. No chance in hell. No chance in hell, bro. I didn't get none of that shit. That shit crazy. I'm telling you that shit. That shit crazy though. They ran through his house, dead ass, bro. They stole, bro. They stole his Astros. These niggas don't play the game. What are you stealing Astros for, bro? What are you stealing Astros for, bro? Like, mm mm mm. You got you tapped in. You never tap in, bro. I'm low key happy. I tapped in on Fortnite. You know the Fortnite accounts on Twitter and stuff back in the day. I wanted the nog op skin so bad. Got scammed. That's what I. It, that's why I knew this shit real. I was too naive, bro. You know a dude who scam. He smell. He smells though like that. I ain't gonna lie to you. The, the niggas who I just told y'all ran through bro house. They bro. They they they're like rich. Like like I'm I'm talking like 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 Eurus and shit rich. And one of them was my neighbor. But these niggas are like, like living in Dubai, rich. Like these niggas, like, like Yozan, like Yozan, Yozan, Yozan. They're making money. Like you know that shit. You know that shit. Allegedly, by the way, right? I, I don't know them. These niggas allegedly, by the way, right? You know them. them that, you know that punch made, punch made dead method where they were talking about they was calling, they was calling, um, they was calling uh T-Mobile and they was getting T-Mobile, T-Mobile providers and stuff like that to like, um, like wire or whatever, 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 whatever. Them niggas was doing that shit, getting money, boy. They do get caught, though, Kai. They really do. They really do get caught. But I don't know if these niggas got caught. I'm off social media, so I don't really see. Let me look them up. Let me look up right now. Let's see. Matter of fact, we'll look this up right now. Let me go on Instagram. I'm going to look up one of the niggas, the nigga who ran through the house, and see how he living. Let me see if I can find this nigga. I don't know none of their shit, though. Let me see. I got to take a piss really bad. I gotta make sure I don't accidentally hit like follow or nothing. Oh fuck no. Keep me away. Too much money. What happened to you, Mary? <clears throat> Wait, what happened, Mary? <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I don't know why the fuck you gave that nigga 600. Yeah, oh my god, you hitting them up is not happening, bro. The way you know you got scammed is when you hit them up and they drag. The moment they drag, the moment they fucking drag, you're done. You're done. Because they be quick to message you back, bro. They be quick to message you back when they trying to get that money. They be. The first one's answering, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You you what? You, hey, bro. Like, uh, they, they, you know, you know on Snapchat when the niggas, nigga in the, nigga in the call like this? They be there. Them niggas don't never sit in that call. When you get to texting them about some money shit, them niggas be like this. Staring at your shit. Hey, you said a man, they instantly answer it. Nah, bro, you got to do this, do this. This shit crazy, bro. This shit. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Then once they stop doing that, they stop answering. They taking two hours to answer and shit. And they like, yeah, bro, I'm going to send it as soon as I get it. <laughs> Wrap it up, nigga. Wrap it up, nigga. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yep. Yep, he yep, he never got the money. He been waiting. We done heard it all, nigga. Mm -mm -mm. You used to do all that shit? I'm not surprised. I was I was I was getting tapped in too, uh car. Then I saw that shit gonna get me fucked over. I had to get up out of there. They talking about go to Chase Bank, put a fake check in there, then it's gonna it's gonna tell you this, then you tell them you want all ones. These niggas literally found a glitch. How do you find a glitch at Chase Bank, bro? This is the shit niggas doing Call of Duty. They talking about put a fake check in there. Choose that you want all ones, and it's going to pop out the money you have on a check. How did you do that? How did you figure that out? <laughs> like, what? how did you go and figure that out, nigga? This shit crazy. This shit crazy. I legit had pages with some of my friends acting like a sugar daddy. And females used to fall. That's the, that's the one right there. That one is so free, too. That one is so free. Mistake said he used to do that. Mistake said he made a couple hundred dollars doing that. That shit's so free. Niggas is so desperate, bro. Let me take a piss and fill my water bottle up real quick, though, y'all. Two seconds. Now nah, I said them to me, man. Or, 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 yo, we can watch them bitches. Two seconds. Let me take a piss real quick, please. I'll be right back, y'all. And fill my water bottle. I gotta take a piss so bad. 